All right, here we go. 57 kilo semifinal action. Tiana Jackson in the red, taking on Shauna Kemp in the blue. Jackson and Kemp made it to the semifinals, each with relative upsets. Kemp, the five seed, so not a huge upset there. Kemp looked to lock on a single. Jackson fought it off. Nice job breaking the lock. Tiana Jackson, the nine seed from Menlo, making it all the way to the semifinals. And this bracket got all flipped around, especially on the top side. Number one seed, Kelsey Campbell, lost to unseeded Gracie Figueroa. Figueroa then lost to unseeded Marissa Gallegos. And Kemp in on a single. She's got it elevated. Jackson trying to break the lock as she did before, but Kemp with a better lock this time. Jackson, nice job getting Kemp down to the mat, closing that whizzer. Kemp now trying to control the ankle. Come around behind. Jackson able to defend that takedown, and we're back to our feet. Passivity warning, first one of the match, gonna go against Tiana Jackson. She'll have to pick her action up if she doesn't want to go on the shot clock. 90 seconds left to go here. First period, Jackson lunges forward on a shot. Kemp ends up with a two on one. Jackson with head position. <coughs> Kemp trying to move Jackson around, and this may be enough to earn that second passivity call. It doesn't so far, but actually, just as I say that, there goes the passivity call, and so now Jackson will be on a 30-second shot clock. She'll have to try to score in the next 30 seconds, otherwise she'll give up a point. Kemp the higher seed of these two, and she seated fifth, so she's seated in one of those spots that would take an Olympic qualification spot. Jackson would love to overturn that prediction. And 30 second shot clock runs out, so a point goes up on the board for Shauna Kemp. And Kemp locks on a high crotch. Jackson goes cross face, and she's got an ankle as well. Jackson trying to work her way around behind. Kemp able to get that, le that lock back on the leg. Tries to pull herself up. Now Kemp in good position. White paddle as time ran out before Kemp could score, and we'll go into the break. 1-0, Shauna Kemp leads Tiana Jackson. If you're not jumping rope, then you're not training like the top wrestlers in the world. Don't gas out, train with RX smart gear jump rope. So Tiana Jackson, yeah, came in here the nine seed. And if she wins this match, she'll qualify for the Olympic trials as a surprise qualifier. It'd be huge for her to Accomplish that goal. Kemp, of course, has something to say. About. Nice shot there, but wow, really, really quick defense. Jackson gets the go behind takedown, goes up 2 1. Now Jackson has that leg trapped. Gut wrench locked up for Jackson. She goes, gets the two. She may try to go again. She's got a tight lock. Back to our feet, but Tiana Jackson takes a 4-1 lead, and she's looking really solid. Shauna Kemp has found her way to the leg a couple times, been locked on a couple of shots, but has not been able to convert those into points. Let's see if she changes her strategy at all in the last two minutes of this match.
Shauna Kemp with some senior level success already. She was a bronze medalist at the Canada Cup this summer. Minute 40 left. Crowd got a little excited over on Matt One. Kamal Bay was just throwing people around like hay bales. And so, got distracted for a minute, but important match here. Minute 22 left and finger fight warning. Next up on Matt One, Official warns both wrestlers. Rayvon Perkins, New York Athletic Club. Jake Fisher, Kirby Three Style. Perkins and Fisher up now on that. Nice line. series there by Jackson. She goes shot, then reattack. Got around behind, but could not get Kemp to the mat, so no points. Good action, but no points. One minute left. Kemp's going to have to find her way to some points if she wants to win this match. Jackson swipes at that leg. Now Kemp digging an underhook, moving forward. She's got an over-under position. Looks like she may be thinking about an upper body move here. 30 seconds to go. Four-pointer would put her in the lead. Jackson, nice job on the edge of the mat. Now she's got double unders. Oh, double overthrow attempt there from Kemp, but Jackson stops her, puts her on her back, earns four points. She's now up 8-1. And I'll tell you what, this Menlo program has done nothing but develop women and, and has made itself into a little warning there for hands to the face. And caution and one actually offered and confirmed. So 8-2 now, Jackson leads. But this Menlo program has done nothing but develop women and, and become one of the preeminent college programs. Tiana Jackson, another example of that. And she... Looks outstanding here. As time runs out. Tiana Jackson on to the finals, now qualified for the Olympic trials. And she's a finalist at 57 kilos. We'll see her tomorrow against the winner of the next semifinal match.